I suppose of all the sort of, you know, the vigils, the, the most painful one was of Solomon Hlangu because he was the first uh, ANC person, certainly since I was involved in anti-apartheid, I think since the early 60s, that was sentenced to death. Others were subsequently. And we were terrified that this would set a precedent. So we've been campaigning, it must have been a year, between when he was sentenced to his execution. And eventually he was executed on the morning of the election day in this country when Thatcher was elected. Um, we've been trying to get the British government to intervene and other groups elsewhere had been trying to get other Western governments and initially had no success at all. They just refused to intervene, said they had no locus standi to intervene. And it was only a few days before the execution, if my memory is correct, when some of the Western governments began to change their policy. I think it was the French first of all. And then we were able to actually get a Security Council resolution uh, calling upon the regime not to go ahead with the execution. But by that stage, it was, you know, it was too late for that to have an effect. It was a few days before the execution. And if only, right, we'd been able to move governments in an earlier stage, it might have been that we could have saved his life. So we were there outside South Africa House all night, knowing, you know, that, oh, that there was no, you know, there was very little chance of a reprieve, hoping, hoping somehow there might be a reprieve. Um, and then in the early hours of the morning, we'd heard that he was executed. And only then did we really get any serious publicity for the case.